You've been developing yourself, trying to become a strong man. But there is a person who will belittle you. Jeffrey. We hate Jeffrey. Why? He is the worst kind of person. He makes fun of you for being on self-improvement. He sees you meditating and he calls you gay. He sees you going to the gym and he reacts with hate. The Jeffreys of the world are not allowed in our cults. The Cult of Adonis. In this cult, we have a brotherhood of young men aiming to get stronger to prepare for the hard times. Yesterday was really exhausting. I woke up early. I had to go to the Thai immigration office to get like a visa extension. So you have to go to like these like kind of police kind of people to request like a 30 day extension because you can only stay in Thailand for like 30 days legally if you're like from the UK. But then you go get an extension and you have to write down the reason for your extension. There's a lot of people who are doing it. And of course, like they want people to continue traveling. So my reason and Sam's reason to continue was holiday. Nice and simple. When I was at the embassy, the immigration office, I bumped into a girl who I had cold approached just like a week before. Really nice girl and she's from Ukraine. I see her there, hug each other and like, you know, I say to her like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll see each other soon and everything. And I didn't really think anything of it up until I saw her Instagram story later on. And in the reason for applying for the extension, she wrote down war in Ukraine. That really like, hit me it really made me stop and really think about this like my reason for the extension you know the visa application was like oh yeah holiday you know it's, it's nice being in thailand <laughs> and it, here we have like someone who's literally left their home country because of hard times because of war the hard times are here they have begun in some countries in some places and i think it will escalate maybe not the, you know the exact war that's going on right now but i think the next few years will be a lot of chaos of war, of hunger, of fighting over resources like water. I think that might be like a big thing that's gonna happen within five to 10 years. You've heard that quote, which is strong men create good times, good times create weak men, weak men create hard times, hard times create strong men. The strong men are being developed as we speak. Hopefully you're one of the few men who have become stronger, more disciplined, more masculine, as the times have went on. Hopefully you're one of the very few men who have actively been seeking out discomfort and challenge because the majority of people aren't doing this. This seems like very insignificant. This, you know, like the stuff we talk about, oh, it's a YouTube video about discipline and like, oh, you know, there's, there's this guy like talking about strong, bro. This is a lot more serious than a lot of people think it is. The hard times are coming. Maybe they are here right now. This is the best time ever to meditate, to get stronger physically and mentally, to be more prepared financially, to journal, to contemplate, to be introspective, to cultivate a brotherhood around you of men that you can trust, to have the assets and the means to protect your family. Don't overlook these words. Right now, you might live in a country which seems fine. So the UK seems fine. Thailand seems fine. There's countries where it doesn't feel like anything has really changed. You know, there was COVID and everything, but it's relatively fine. I don't believe it's going to stay like that for that much longer. There are problems that are arising in, in pretty much every country. And even in the safe countries, for example, I'm from the UK. There's like hidden scary things happening in the societies like i think one of the biggest problems in western countries is like the incel uprising bro about 80 percent of men are totally deprived from love sex and intimacy that will not go without consequence the truth is that no one truly knows what will happen what chaos could arise what war a new war could start what resources are fought off there's no one will really know there's no point in trying to like speculate it in my opinion what we could do as young men of self-improvement in this brotherhood in this cult is develop ourselves ruthlessly right now especially cultivate i think one of the most important parts which i have recently seen the value of is cultivating like masculine brothers like strong men men who i respect men who i can trust men who i look up to and having them close by ruthlessly improve yourself at these times meditate all, all of the the habits that you already know it's just now is not the time to get complacent now is not the time to think oh you know what this new video game came out and you know i know it's not very self-improvement but i'd love to play it men are built through struggle through discomfort through war through challenge trials and tribulations rites of passage these boys these jeffries who say that it's okay to play one hour of video games every single day that self-improvement's cringe that it's cope they're not going to be ready and i think this is a lot more serious than it seems i think it's so easy for anyone to be hearing these words the way that we talk and to, you know to criticize it to disrespect it to call it cringe they call it like weird why, why are you thinking about this kind of like how if you watch like some of those tv shows maybe a few years ago you'd always see like these Amer 
No, that's good. You'd always see like some of these like American patriots who were like preparing for like doomsday and they'd show you their like doomsday shelter and they've got like guns and like ration and like, you know, canned foods and everything. The perception of those kinds of people were always like, oh, they're kind of, you know, weird. They're like doomsday preppers or something. That That's not a terrible idea to have like a place, a safe place to go to if, if chaos does break out. You might have never experienced, like I've personally never experienced like total chaos. And I remember just a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I think it was when the, the war in Ukraine was really popping off. I had this like visualization. I didn't want this to happen. I just kind of thought about war, like actual war, which we've never really experienced in the UK in my lifetime. And it was on a, like something like I had never imagined before. I'd never visualized it. If you're down, Maybe that's something we can do together right now because I'm gonna walk you through the exact thing that I saw and maybe you'll just be able to see it to just awaken to the seriousness of, of life and the hard times that may come up. There was a lot of, of noise of like thunderous storms and maybe there were like bombs or an air raid. And there was the sheer like full on shock, like traumatic face of my sister whilst like, you know, chaos was happening. And that's when it like really switched on for me because if chaos did arise, I and probably you, we, we have this level of like self-confidence where we're like, oh yeah, we'd be fine. But as soon as you start thinking about someone who you feel is like more vulnerable, who you feel like you're gonna take responsibility for, that's when it gets tricky. We're strong, we're athletic. That doesn't mean we're immune or anything, but like, you know, we could navigate some kind of like chaotic situation. But like, I want you to imagine your mother in this situation and you trying to help her. And then imagine your sister and imagine like the, the intense, like the kind of like fear you see in their face, which symbolizes like trauma, total chaos. People run and someone runs and like fully runs into your mother. She's like dropped down on the floor. Like this is fucking heartless shit to talk about, but it, it is the reality for some people. These are things that we don't often consider. A lot of young men are just blind to what happens in the world. And truthfully, I am one of them. I'm, I don't look at the news. I haven't watched the news in a while. I still somewhat end up keeping up to date with the things that happen. You probably can feel this like you don't watch the news, but like you knew about COVID. You don't watch the news, but you knew about the war in Ukraine. You don't watch the news, but you knew about X because it's just somehow just if it's important, somehow it comes into conversation you end up like going past some tv store or some like pub or some restaurant you see the news and people are talking about it and you see people post about it on instagram or something so you're still somewhat aware of what's happening i think this is truly where men are made i think this is truly like the motivation the intense need the inspiration to develop yourself. Because let's be totally honest, what kind of person is able to escape the hard parts of life? Imagine there's like, you know, chaos happening in a country. What kind of people would be able to escape straight away? Wealthy people, rich people, rich people with connections. Do you know, if you start picturing right now, life hundreds of years ago, the purpose of a man, his mission was to develop himself, develop his skills and work incredibly hard so that he could provide for his family and keep them safe. That in times of chaos and you know wars in like the kingdom, he'd be able to like take care of them. He'd be able to take them somewhere safe. We've never really used that as motivation before. I think this is about as masculine as it gets. Masculinity in this forum or this blog called The Art of Manliness. You may have heard of it, the art of manliness. I remember reading a blog post from theirs about masculinity and they said it's broken down into the three Ps. Protect, provide, and procreate, I believe. So like having children, protecting your loved ones and being able to provide for them. I think protect is the first one. That's like the fundamental. If you can't protect your family, like there's nothing else. There's no family left. And again, this this it feels so weird to talk about this because in our generation, we've never even had to consider needing to like protect our family. Maybe you're from like a different country in a different kind of society where you have. There's a loud ass bird, bro. <laughs> But maybe you're from a different country where you've had to, but for the majority of us, especially from the West and in like safe areas, like I'm from the UK, I've never had that thought before. Hard times create strong men. And even without thinking about war or political issues or anything on like a grand level, the truth is that the hard times have already started for many of us a few years ago. The modern addictions, technology, social media addiction, porn, video games, junk food, but we've had those hard times. And because of that, because we grew out of them, we've turned into men. That's what started our self-improvement. That's what started our need to delay gratification, to take the path of Adonis. We've already experienced what hard times are like. We already have the mindsets to overcome that. Progressive overload, prioritizing your mental health. We need challenge and we need to prepare for 
anything that could happen. We need to experience hard, challenging times right now. And I think one of the best ways, which I'm experiencing firsthand, is through travel. It's through living around other people. It's through living with my best friend, Sam. We've made a couple of new friends, Jack and Bill, and with them, we've been taking on new challenges, like incredible experiences. And I feel like I'm developing as a man in like such a different way from my usual, you know, self-improvement timetable. Okay, regiment, military discipline, wake up at five, do this at six, do this at seven. This video isn't meant to scare you. It's more just to highlight the possibility of harder times, of, of times of chaos that it is somewhat fairly likely to happen. Hopefully that can serve as extra motivation for your self-improvement, especially for those parts of like becoming stronger mentally, physically, amassing more wealth and having the income to be able to keep your family safe and to be able to protect and provide for them. Are you ready for hard times? I'd say I'm not there just yet, but I am on a fantastic journey. I am on a fantastic trajectory there. You can subscribe to our channel if you want to. Welcome to the cult. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah. We need to experience. We need to experience. Now that's